Hey guys, I was really bored today, so my makeup look is a little extreme for my sweatshirt and leggings, but you know, I thought it would be fun since I do have a day off and I'm on break. No one's really on campus right now to do a quick little campus tour and I'm about to go do my laundry so you can see that building and then we'll just walk around for a while. So let's go. This is the Student Access Center, this University Hall, which has the Office of Disabilities in it. This is one of my favorite parts of the campus design because it has sidewalks going everywhere. Up there, you'll see Hamilton Hall, which is the on-campus dorms. And This big red thing is called BART, the big artsy red thing. And my friends and I joke that it's like an irrational flight pattern since it's, uh, you know, right state. It's really weird. It gets lit up at night. Not really sure why it's here. This right here is Wright Hall and it has the business school uh, and Ray Ray Cafe where it is a student run cafe. This is the math and science building, also dubbed the pig building because it kind of looks like a pig nose. I always wanted to do a photo shoot right here just because I think it's so picturesque. This is just kind of the in-between of all the academic buildings. You'll see a lot of people sitting out here during school days. This is one of the main sitting areas during the warmer weather and it's just a fountain and just some nice chairs and tables and long bench seats. Of course, the flag. And behind it is Allen Hall and the Raider Cafe. This is the smaller of the two cafeterias on Wright State. And this is normally filled up with water, but it is drained for the winter. Right there, you see Millet Hall, or some say Millet. No one officially knows for sure what it's called, but it has uh, the psychology, history, just a lot of various academic classes. And it really does look huge. It's four floors, just like the other building. On the quad, we have Fawcett Hall. It has a lot of our labs and archeology, span anthropology, philosophy. Then we have Malay or Millet Hall. College of Liberal Arts, so we have history and classes in there too. There's a lot of offices in this building, as well as academic classes. This is just the back of Allen Hall, and this is Ullman Hall, so these together make a quad, and in between the quad, they just have a nice green space. of the parking lots that students can park in. The other one is all the way over by the Student Success Center, but this one does fill up very quickly. One of our more famous buildings is the Tom Hanks Center for Motion Pictures. The library actually has a plane inside of it. I'll post a picture here because it is closed. back of the library where Starbucks is and also our greenhouse. This building is the Biological Sciences building. 
so it does have a lot of labs and research classes in it but I actually had a history class in it. This building is dubbed MedSci, it's called Medical Sciences. It is probably my favorite building on campus because it is just one big circle. But all of the classrooms are really nice. <laughs> me are more buildings that aren't academic and the ones I haven't been to so there are a lot of like maintenance people and all the buildings are closed right now because we are on break so I can't take you through them but if you want me to just leave a comment and I'll do it later once the semester starts back up I do know that the student union does not close it's one of the only buildings that are still in service this week so we can go through the tunnels this way We just went from the student union to Wright Hall through the tunnels, which takes a lot more time than if you do just walk outside. But I understand when it's raining, snowing, really cold, really hot, they are heated, they're air conditioned, so it is nice, um, especially if you have enough time to get between classes. Allen Hall, and behind that is the College of Liberal Arts. This is the education building. Look at that sunset. So now we're gonna go from Allen Hall to the woods and then University Park so you can kind of get a feel for how far it is. Allen Hall will be the closest academic building to those dorms and it's the building that I would go to every time when I did live in the dorms to get to the tunnels or just to get through to go to other academic buildings. is the Catholic Church on campus. Our school is not Catholic, but it has a Catholic Church. We have a little garden on campus. It's really cute and it's right by the woods and the chapel is especially pretty in the summer and fall when all of this is green and flowers. I loved to come and sit here because there's usually no one here and just read.
Woods Community Center does have a volleyball court, a little patio place, and a basketball court. And again, our whole campus is handicap accessible. Up there, those are the University Park, and the ginormous empty parking lot is usually packed full of cars during the semester. Just for reference, it's not always like this. And you do have to pay. This is actually the building I lived in last year, that very first apartment you see. And then this is the honors dorms. It is also connected to the gym, the bridge cafe, and the Raider Mart. The best thing about the University and College Park is that they do come with balconies or patios if you live on the first floor. And they do have parking right beside the building, but sometimes it will overflow because there's maybe 35 spots and as you can see there's way more than 35 apartments. And this is something that will happen all the time if you live on campus. It used to scare me, but now it's kind of cool still frightening when they go right over your apartment building and they look like they're 10 feet from crashing into it. go up and down these stairs. They're from the middle of the woods. The entrance to the woods is still over all the way on that side from campus and you walk down this way or where I walked down from was the driveway on the other side of that tree. And then if you walk all the way up here, there's a bridge all the way up there. So far on this tour, I know it's almost over, I've showed you most of the academic buildings here on campus. They're, you know, closest to each other, walking through the woods, which is our dorms that have single, super single, doubles, uh, double deluxe, and triples. So all of those options are online if you do want to check them out, or I could make a video describing them to you. We have our Raider Mart, which is our student-like store, and our university and college apartments, which if you want to see inside of them, you can go check out my other videos that I uploaded when I did live there. Now we're going to go on to College Park, which is essentially the same thing as University Park. They're just a little bit older and a little different. So this is the bridge I was mentioning earlier and a lot of people use it to walk from College Park or the honors dorms. This is also how I walk from Forest Lane to this part of campus just because Forest Lane is right on the other side of this parking lot by the bridge and the Honors Gym. So coming to the end of the bridge, there is Allen Hall, Reich Hall that I came out of the tunnels earlier to the side of the bridge, the dog park. 
These are the Cimarron apartments. They are off campus housing for around five, six hundred dollars a month. We look from Forest Lane to the Student Success Center, Reich Hall, Allen Hall. And what I just walked was all the way from Allen Hall down that through the church, back through the woods there, and then back further to University Park, which is all the way back there. And then the honors storm right there and then back through college park behind these woods and the bridge comes right out to here and connects this parking lot so all of that or this sidewalk right here what do you think is the better option i mean This is actually Aspen, the building that I did my Forest Lane first room tour in. And it was that second door to the right and this apartment right here. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for joining me on my tour of Wright State. I just want to say a couple highlights from the video. Definitely, Wright State is a nice school. As you can see, it's pretty large. I think we have about 22,000 students, including online and master's program students. So it's about a third of the size as Ohio State University in Columbus. Uh, the nicest part of campus is probably the gardens to me and all of the you know, earthy space around campus that somewhere like Ohio State you wouldn't really find. Also, the tunnels are a big plus for our campus because I don't know of any other school that has underground tunnels that connects their whole campus. Aside from the dorm rooms, you have to be above ground to get to those and like the apartments. But um, our academic buildings are really nice. They're not very old. They're still modernized and we have great janitorial staff that keeps them up and we have really nice maintenance on campus as well that just keeps the campus nice at all times. It's a really respected campus. We don't have any Greek life housing, but we do have small Greek life, like I mentioned earlier. And that is really the only negative thing about our campus is if you're looking for a sorority or fraternity to be a part of and really get that campus life, this isn't gonna be the school for you. But if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer them. <laughs> have a great day, guys.